let's begin with options for denture wearers. When they go to your office, what are their options as far as dental implants? Well, the first option is to put two implants in the lower front jaw, and then we have a denture that snaps onto those two lower implants by little rings that hold it in place. And for those patients, it gives them a lot of stability. They don't have the sores they did before. They're comfortable. Uh, sometimes it'll rock in the back, and that's troublesome to patients. But uh, this is the entry level for patients. But the reality is, if we can put four implants, Randy, that's the next level they can okay. go to. So we just add two more, if they had two already. And then the denture's more stable, doesn't rock as much in the so back. So snap in, snap out. Snap out. Full arch of teeth. Full arch of teeth. They don't have to have adhesives anymore to hold the dentures in. So they don't have to worry about that goop that you put in there, and, or you have to go to the dentist and he puts the goop in there and makes it set up. With four uh, snap-in implants on the lower jaw, they can eat the things that they want to eat, which is steak, and they like corn on the cob, and some people it's salad. I know that sounds ridiculous, but some people want to eat and chew salad very carefully. So they have a lot of stability that they didn't have when they were wearing a denture. So it's it's really uh, the best alternative we have if you want something that's snap on and snap off. And actually, some people like that because they can clean it, they can put it back in their mouth, they like the ability to take it out. But what I've really found out over the years, Randy, is most patients don't want something that comes in and out. That's their fear, that's their anxiety. What they want is something that's stable. So with four implants, we can also give them a denture that actually is held in place by small screws that they can't take out. And what I tell the patient, it's like your teeth, it's close to being like teeth, it's as natural as it possibly can be. So you can, can eat be. whatever you want with, 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 with that. Oh yes, we've had patients come in and actually chew into an apple in the office because that's what they wanted to do. Or they tell me, I'm gonna go out and have a steak for the first time. I haven't had a steak in years because I used to have these horrible teeth. They were loose, they were uncomfortable, and these are comfortable, they act like teeth. He said, they chew like teeth, so they go out and have their first steak for years. Could they bite out of like a carrot with these uh, things? Yes, they, they could okay. bite anything they could. So really, could. whatever you want to... Yeah. yeah, well, a few years ago, Randy, is so funny, uh, there was a videotape done by a guy who water skied professionally in Florida at uh, the famous ski resort there in Winter Haven, and he actually had a bit where he had, he bite on that bit, and the water skis would take him in, in through Winter Haven and ski, so that's how strong they were. This was a demonstration that was done to, to tell people, yeah, it's really, really strong. Now you call it all on four, and all on four just simply means? Four implants, and what we do is we tilt the back implants, which okay. helps with some of the stability. There's been a lot of studies done on this. This is something I teach all over the country, and we teach dentists how to do it, and it's very effective. It can be done in one visit. The patient can come in with a bad set of teeth and actually go home with a full set of teeth on the implants and they don't have to worry about wearing sores, they don't have to worry about the denture rocking which is causing a lot of pain when people have a regular denture. So this whole teeth in a day concept or same day teeth, you do that? We've done it for almost 11 years now. And really. we should mention, I mean you lecture all over the country and I think also out of the country sometimes. Yes, I you do. You teach specialists, dentists, how to do dental implants. Yes, I, I, I've had a wonderful life professionally, and part of my professional life is not only treating patients, but helping other healthcare professionals learn how to do the things that we've done in our office for a long time. So, Does it cost I, more to go to a specialist or somebody like you? No, it, we, it's about, the we, same. about the same. Interesting. Yeah, we find that sometimes it, in certain cases, can be very cost effective because I am a specialist. I know how to do these things right the first time. I've never had a patient say, I want to do surgery over. They want it done right the first time, and we pride ourselves on making sure that that's happening in our practice. What we have found is that a lot of people talk about the lower, stabilizing the lower, because that's where the tongue is moving up and down, and they have the discomfort. But really, I see the magic happen when we treat the upper jaw, when patients are either, one, ready to lose their teeth, they're anxious because they know when they smile, that's what people see. They're also having problems with dentures. They already have. They tell me they can't feel food in the roof of their mouth. They can't feel hot and cold things. They've lost some of their taste, and they just don't like it because their tongue doesn't have room to move around in there. So in the upper, what we do, Randy, is we can place four implants, similar to what we do in the lower, and we can do this in the same day. The patient can come. Either they have a few teeth left. We can take them out and put the implants in the same day, or if they're coming and their teeth have already been removed prior to us seeing them, we can do four implants. They walk out that day and their life has changed. They can feel the roof of their mouth again. They know that this is small compared to a denture, which is big and bulky. This is very small. And they look real? I mean, they look like teeth? Randy, compared to what some of these patients have had before, 
it is a life-changing event as far as their aesthetics because what we have found is that people have teeth for two reasons. The first reason is to eat food. That's the primary reason. And the second is for socialization. And many people have been kept up and penned up socially because they had bad teeth, they didn't want to smile, they covered their face. Some people don't smile, period. And the reason is they don't like the way their teeth look. So they hide their face and they hide their lips and some people don't even know what they have. So, so when it's all done, right? You say some of the patients hug you or want to hug you. Uh, they do, and, <laughs> and it's not just the females. It's, it's sometimes guys who are a little shy and hugging is maybe not a thing that guys do, but I, I've, I've seen patients cry. I've seen patients smile. I've seen patients say, if I'd have known I could have had this done, I would have done it sooner. That's a common comment that I hear patients say, and they, they're, they're almost aggravated at themselves that they waited so long to make the decision. And now that they've made the decision and they have the benefit, they're like an, a new person. It's like a flower opening up. <laughs> now, if you're a denture wearer, how old can you be to do this? How old? That, that's a real interesting question because a lot of patients that we see, I, I have a specialty practice, and we see a lot of older adults. And what I mean by older adults is probably 50 to 95. We have the common patient that I see is usually between 50 to 65 years old. That's common. But we also see patients in their 80s. I have treated a few patients in their 90s who just told With me, dental implants? With dental implants. Are they more likely uh, statistically to fall out if you're that age? No. No, Randy. Uh, one of the things is being a periodontist, my goal for patients is to keep their natural teeth as long as possible. So I have two roles in my practice. One is to help people keep their teeth. But unfortunately, some people don't keep their teeth. They lose them due to decay or they lose them to periodontal disease. And for those patients who either lost their teeth or going to lose their teeth, that's where dental implants really come into play. Because we know when we give patients dental implants, it saves their bone. And by saving their bone, we save their face, their smile, their appearance that people identify with. People identify with getting their teeth back, uh, whether they're 95, 85, 75, 65. It's a, it's a, it's and a, you call it the third set of teeth. Absolutely. The first set of teeth we get are our baby teeth. We lose those when we're about 15. Then we get our adult teeth. And hopefully with good preventive dentistry as available as today, you'll never lose your teeth. But there are people who lose their teeth due to gum disease and tooth decay. And for those people, there used to be no hope. They had to wear a denture. But today there is hope. Dental implants can give patients back their their socialization skills, their eating skills, their function. And, and they're permanent. They're permanent, as long as the patient takes care of them, as we, we do teach them very much how to take care of them, and they come in for regular checkups, which is something that I found denture patients don't do, Randy. When you make a patient a set of dentures, they disappear for okay. about 10 years. Nobody sees them, and the next time they come back is when their dentures have worn out, and that's a really great time to start talking to this patient and getting them back into dentistry. So which, they're back in the system. They're back in the system because denture patients just disappear. They're, they're, they, they, they feel like they, You don't like dentures at all, do you? No, I hate dentures. Because you say to me, no more dentures. Yes, absolutely. So nobody should be wearing dentures. Nobody should be wearing dentures. But I know a few denture wearers. They never complain. Are you saying that there's uh, no such thing as a happy denture wearer? Not many. They may not complain to you, but they complain to their spouse. They complain at Thanksgiving to uh, their daughter-in-law or son-in-law who's made this beautiful dinner for Thanksgiving. They can't eat, it's rocking around, they disappear and they go into the bathroom for a few minutes and put their denture adhesive, come back in. Yeah, they don't complain, but they're leading a life behind the doors of the aggravation of what a denture is. But in, in reality, the reason they don't do anything is many times they're not in the system or the dentist they're going to hasn't told them that this is a possibility that their life could be improved with dental implants. So they would all do it if they knew? I've never had one, after they've done it, said they wouldn't do it again, ever. It's never happened. What about pain? It seems painful. I mean, is that what the denture wearers are asking you on, those, on these consults? Like, they gotta be worried about this. Yes, it's, it's, it's a common question, and I think it's a real question that the patient has to, you know, we have to answer for them. Now, we have to qualify what are we we're talking about pain. Are we talking about pain during the procedure? No, they shouldn't have any pain during the procedure. And I'm doing my job effectively, okay. they have no pain. What they're concerned about is are they gonna have pain afterwards? And again, with appropriate medication, yes. But the truth of it, Randy, is most patients don't have a lot of pain, whether we're putting one implant in or we're putting four or five in. They just don't have a lot of pain. And that's because of how the bone reacts when we work with the bone. Randy, I have so many stories about patients coming back after we do implant procedures and tell me, 
They just took an Advil. They didn't even fill the prescription that I got. I had this one patient who uh, was, she was in her 50s and, and her mother was still alive and she went back home and her mother had all these things laid out for her, like she was gonna be you know, in the rocking chair for days or in the recliner for days. And she told her, mom, I'm not having any discomfort at all. And her mother couldn't believe it. There was no way, because she had dentures and she, she related to how she felt after she had it done. But she kept telling her, mom, I'm fine. The next day, she had no bruising. She had no swelling. She was comfortable because we put the teeth on the implants. So the, the bone same doesn't really have the feeling, right? No. That the, part doesn't hurt. No, the bone's like fingernails or hair. I mean, okay. you don't sell so, ouch when you get, well, obviously, I don't have that problem, <laughs> Randy. But uh, the truth of the matter is, if it's done properly, most patients do not have or have minimal to no discomfort. I use the word discomfort. Pain doesn't exist.